Hello, welcome to the show. This is Grandmaster Miguel Iescas speaking, and uh, we are at the, at the ICC Internet Chess Club. We are going to comment the game between Bill Gates and Magnus Carlsen. Well, this was a very unusual game, which was shown on TV yesterday. And, uh, well, we had to, with White Peace is one of the most brilliant minds in the world, and with the Black Peace is uh, the world champion, Magnus Carlsen. The game uh, was very strange, and uh, I was asked by many friends, okay, can you give us your opinion about what was the level of the game? It ended very fast in only nine moves, and of course, uh, Magnus Carlsen won. But, uh, well, when I was checking the game, uh, and I was checking the video, I understood that uh, we should not take false conclusions from what happened. We should uh, analyze it uh, in a more careful way. So please join me in this uh, little analysis. Uh, Bill Gates had two minutes to play the game and Magnus Carlsen only 30 seconds. It was clearly an exhibition game. Nothing was on the stake. But, uh, well, I I'm sure both players uh, had some strategy prepared. You will see. On the first moves, Bill Gates played e4, which is, of course, one of the best moves. And Magnus uh, immediately answered with knight c6. He spent barely one second to make this move. I have to think that uh, the Norwegian, he had prepared this variation. You can say, OK, come on, how, how can you think he's going to prepare for such game? Well, that's why he's the world champion, because he prepares for every game. So this idea, as we will see, it has some venom. And the point is that uh, after knight f3, which is the most natural reply, d5, black wants to play in a very aggressive way from the very beginning and uh, get white out of the opening theory. So his opponent has to play by himself as soon as possible. This was Magnus' idea. Of course, he got it with this little trick, this uh, delayed Scandinavian defense. Here, uh, something happened which is uh, very important to understand the outcome of the game and uh, the following what happened later. In fact, uh, Bill Gates played knight f3, very cool, and uh, Magnus replied with d5 in a very nervous way. Even, he, I mean, some pieces went uh, down, he threw the pawn on e4, and he had to set it up back again. Uh, every, all in all, I mean, I think he created an atmosphere of a lot of tension with all this uh, nervous uh, second move. And we could see Bill Gates uh, didn't, uh, I mean, react uh, well. I mean, he was not able to, to keep cool, to be quiet again after this, uh, this uh, 2d5. So, well, finally, probably he had uh, some instructions he had in his mind. Well, uh, the typical advice, okay, please uh, move your king's pawn, develop your knight, develop your bishop, and then you can castle. If you manage to castle, it's well known, you are going to play a decent game. The opponent will take some time to mate you. So this was more or less uh, his uh, aim when he played a very weird move, bishop d3. So this move, of course, it is not a good move. It's, uh, it's a weak move. Of course, not losing yet, but uh, it uh, fits with this general strategy to develop and castle, which is uh, what I would advise him if he would uh, hire my services for uh, <laughs> for such a game. Okay, you take your pieces out, come on, castle, and of course you're going to lose anyway, but at least you will show some some good fight. This is what happened in the game. He went bishop d3, 
Magnus was a bit surprised. He took uh, just uh, one second to react, and uh, he went with uh, knight f6. I think this is not the best move. Uh, I believe in a in a serious game against a strong opponent, Magnus probably would have played knight b4. Well, this is my guess. In this way, uh, he's punishing the developing the developing move bishop d3. The bishop cannot move because black would be winning a pawn. And uh, I think this guarantees black uh, a, slight, uh, a slight advantage without any question, without any fight. In the game, Magnus, he wanted to, to play a more open game. He wanted to, to go for the mate. And he succeeded. But we will see. Because the main point is that Bill Gates was winning this game. Uh, as you will see very soon, this is a big surprise when analyzing the game, to realize that uh, Carlsen was simply bluffing. We will see. The game continued here. Uh, well, probably Mr. Gates, he understood that uh, D takes E4 was a very strong threat. And then he played correctly. He took on D5. Magnus continued with his provocative play, taken with the queen, simply to get active to the king's side. This is what happened after uh, Knight City Queen H5. Bill Gates Castle. He was playing well, quite fast. He was doing quite well so far. And uh, Magnus, he just uh, spent uh, only six, seven seconds to reach this position. Of course, now he played Bishop G4, a developing move. He's preparing Long Castle. And Black is going to enjoy a very strong attack on the king side in a few moves. This is what uh, probably Magnus was aiming for. And in this position, of course, if you're a strong player, you're going to understand you have to go back with the bishop simply to protect f3. The position becomes, well, I don't know, very unbalanced. Uh, probably it's about equal. But uh, in the game, Mr. Gates, he went h3. This is, uh, well, of course it is a mistake, but it's not so bad as it looks. In fact, uh, after h3, black is kind of forced to take on f3, queen f3, and then, well, the queens probably go out of the board. Of course, black is better in this endgame, in this position after uh, the queen straight, but uh, white has uh, guaranteed to be alive for a long time without the queens on the board. This is going to be a slow game. And, uh, well, with Magnus having only 30 seconds, well, it's for sure that he would win anyway because uh, he can play in less than one second. So sometimes it doesn't matter that you push the clock. His clock is not going to move. But still, this would be a very natural uh, way to continue the game for Magnus Carlsen. But instead, he understood probably that uh, he had a chance to, to mate fast. And he played 95. This move, apparently very aggressive, it is, in fact, a, a very bad move, uh, a losing move, I must, <laughs> I can say. The point is that uh, white is uh, taking a piece, black recaptures, and then there is a threat, knight f3 and queen h2 mate. But here, in this moment, Bill Gates collapsed. Uh, this happens all the time. I saw all my life when I played with some exhibition games with amateurs. Uh, there are some of them which uh, they play really not bad. But if you put a chess clock on the table and you play fast, uh, the amateur tends to try to copy it. He gets nervous. He tries to play very, very fast to continue playing at, at your pace. And finally, the mistakes come, uh, I mean, and big mistakes like this one. In this moment, the position is completely winning for white with a very simple move, rookie one. This didn't happen in the game, of course. And then, well, the white king is going to get a square to escape. We can see the variation after knight f3, queen f3. Black can try to do the same as in the game. But now the king has a free square, king f1. And black is left with a piece down in a completely losing position. We can see that uh, another check will be useless. The king escapes and white finally emerges with a decisive advantage. Well, it was not so difficult. I'm, I'm sure that if Mr. Gates would think for a while, for a second, 
he would find Rook E1. He was playing not such a bad game till this moment. And then this would be amazing because Magnus Carlsen would be completely lost. And, uh, well, most I don't know what he would do because after Rook E1, if Knight F3, Queen takes, and now probably there is a threat, Queen takes B7, and if Long Castle, then Queen F5, check, it, it is immediately winning. So it would be difficult for Magnus, really. I don't know what he would do if rookie won. Well, unfortunately, the game went uh, with a terrible blunder, 95 Bill Gates. I think he was very happy to take Magnus' pieces because, well, it's typical that uh, you say, okay, I took a knight to the world champion. I captured his pieces. Okay, this makes you happy. But of course, after 95, it came the blow, queen h2, checkmate. And this was, well, this miniature in nine moves. Magnus Carlsen took only 10 seconds to get down to the most brilliant mind of technology in the last years, Mr. Bill Gates. Well, this was a very interesting show anyway. Thanks to Mr. Gates to, well, to be brave enough to face the world champion. And of course, uh, we have to advise Magnus Carlsen, be careful because the next time, the next time you may be not so lucky. Well, that was uh, Miguel Iescas for uh, Internet Chess Club commenting this interesting game. Bye-bye.